Perfect. Hearing none, we're going to go to our last presenter. It's actually a, a team effort and it really is uh, demonstrative of the uh, the collaborative spirit behind Surya as well. So three different folks have come together uh, to develop a solution to reduce GHG emissions. So with that, I would like to introduce uh, Ken Hassett. I'm going to get your name wrong, Ken. Ken Hanasik of Magwall Building Systems, Greg uh, Callahan of Light Zone Glass, and Yashuki Oki of Green Vial and Community Development. So welcome team and over to you. And if you're talking, I think you are still muted. Yep, we've got that under control. Perfect, good. This is a very exciting session today, and um, and I'm excited to present our our project. I'm uh, with Green Violin. I'm a nonprofit infill housing developer for affordable housing. So energy efficiency is a, a huge part of the projects that I'm pursuing. And in that, I've met Greg and Ken uh, and their products, and we we put together a. Um, combination of their products that they're going to explain to you and then I'll wrap it up at the end. We'll show you a demonstration unit that we've built. Uh, we'll bring the camera up closer so everybody can have a look but I'll pass it over to um, Ken first to describe what the wall is that we're using. Okay, uh, my name is Ken Hanasek and I'm the uh, founder of Magwall. Uh, we are a uh, manufacturer of structural insulated panels here in Edmonton. Uh, the difference between our structural insulated panel and uh, the traditional ones is that we use a fourth generation magnesium sulfate board as sheathing. Uh, this board has been uh, evaluated by the International Code Council for Fire, uh, Physical Properties and Structure. Uh, our panels are actually strong enough to uh, be used for foundation walls as well. Um, so I'll get you to move on to the next slide. Um, so I've already talked really about the advanced materials. Um, we are also really big believers in using technology to increase efficiency. Uh, so we do a uh, 3D model of all the buildings uh, that we do. Um, this really uh, creates meticulous planning and an ability to really streamline the process um, and you know plan right down to the last fastener. And of course that results in a better building envelope and really uh, less skill is required to, uh, to function or, or to, to erect our walls, uh, which uh, results in a plumb square, uh, straight, highly energy efficient wall uh, with a solid EPS core of insulation. So uh, with the SSIRA, of course, uh, insulative uh, performance is very important and uh, we really shine in that area. So I'll go to the next slide. Uh, so yeah, we've talked about it. it. We have four by eight, four by nine, four by 10 panels, which are stackable as well. Um, and um, we, uh, we use uh, a wood frame, but we can also use a steel frame. And um, the, the panel uh, is very durable uh, and performs really well. Go to the next slide. Is, oh, uh, okay, all right. <laughs> um, yeah, so really, I guess I, yeah, I've, I've actually even uh, not taken my three minutes. I'm sure there will be uh, questions, uh, but um, yeah, we're really excited about this collaboration, uh, you know, to start installing uh, the most energy efficient window I've ever seen and, and ever witnessed. And uh, we're excited to, to move along. So I'll, I'll pass it over to Greg. Hi, so I'm uh, Greg Clary and I'm the CEO of a company called Light Zone Glass Inc. We uh, spent years and a lot of money developing the Light Zone um, insulating glass unit, which this video we're going to play for you explains. If you could play the video, please. Windows are such an important part of our living and working spaces. However, thermally inefficient windows have been the weakest link in designing energy efficient buildings. Over the years, the industry has improved the insulating value of windows. The problem with one to two inch thick insulating glass is that there just isn't enough insulation through its spacer and through the frame to achieve very high window insulating values that the world needs today. 
We manufacture LightZone, a new kind of insulating glass unit that embraces the need for thicker insulating glass to allow the large window thermal breaks that are necessary to achieve very high window insulating values. Light zone can be thicker because it relieves the pressure that would otherwise build up within the glass unit with changing temperatures through a system that allows the equalization without allowing water vapor to enter the unit. This allows light zone to add layers within the glass unit of suspended films and then by varying the number of films and the number of low E coats used and the thickness of the glass unit we can achieve insulating values as high as 19.6 center of glass and as high as R17 for the overall window including both the glass and frame. To truly achieve a sustainable built environment we need to use long lasting materials and that's why light zone has been designed to last more than 60 years similar to the life of a building. The widespread use of light zone would profoundly reduce the energy required to heat and cool buildings everywhere while dramatically improving human comfort and the quality of spaces where people live and work. Thank you Pam. If you can move to the, to the first slide please. So here we have a table of performance values. As the video said, we suspend actually up to eight films. There's always two pieces of glass. And then between one, two, three, four, all the way up to eight suspended films to uh, create 13 different product cate uh, categories that achieves uh, the insulating values. If you look to the far right hand column, it tells you the window R value. Um, using the NFRC method of, uh, you see at the top, it's 5.9. It goes actually all the way up to nearly R19. That video is a little out of date. We have a way of actually increasing it up to 18.7 for a window. And if you, uh, about halfway in the middle of that chart, you can see at the very bottom there, it's 21.7 center of glass. So uh, this is, unheard of in the world. No other company in the world can achieve these kind of performances. Uh, it's been tested, it's proven, we do this. And uh, we strongly believe that the right thing for the future of uh, buildings everywhere is to improve building uh, the building envelope. And the weak link is the glass unit um, in the window. And, um, and uh, we have a solution for that. So if we turn to line item number, uh, number nine, uh, that's, uh, you see there is the L0679 product. That's the product we're using in our sample here of ThermaView transparent wall, which uh, we have a sample of here. Next slide, please. Um, and that product has four suspended fit films between two pieces of glass. And then in a very unique and very different uh, spacer system that, uh, uh, that accommodates this very uh, different product um, that allows us to achieve up to uh, nearly R14 for a window in R17 center glass. Next slide, please. Uh, oh, can't see that very well. Here is, here is a, yeah, thank you. If you go down, this is the construction of this glass unit. Uh, it, this particular, of course, one compromise as you increase thermal performance is uh, uh, a compromise in the visible light. So this has 35% visible light. We can actually get this performance at 40% visible light if we use low iron glass. And it's surprising how transparent that is. Uh, and uh, the people who bought this product are totally happy with that. And uh, of course, they're very happy with the very low heating bills, the increased comfort, and the very low costs of cooling as well, because you can see that the solar heat gain coefficient is below 0.17. So uh, it actually works very well in hot climates as well. Next slide, please. So, so the innovation that we're bringing together in our collaboration is to combine the world's most energy efficient glass into this very thermally efficient wall, a mag wall SIP panel system. 
And the innovation is that we're doing away in a fixed window uh, condition, we're doing away with a traditional frame because the structure already exists, as you can see in this diagram with the two by 10 uh, part of the structure uh, that creates the window opening. There's plenty of structure there to carry a glass unit. There's really no need if you detail this thing properly to spend the money on a fixed window frame. You can attach a couple of simple stops in the front and the back. And this diagram and in our uh, model here that we're gonna show you shortly, um, uh, it's very inexpensive and very quick and very easy to accomplish this detail we're showing you here in a factory situation that Nagwald has, where these, where a wall opening can be created very precisely so that all these materials can come together very efficiently with uh, low factory labor compared to expensive on-site labor. And uh, we eliminate materials, which uh, reduces embodied carbon, reduces thermal bridging, and uh, reduces costs. And uh, of course the detail has to be accomplished. It has to be done correctly. So we have all the proper water drainage and uh, we use a wet seal at the back of the glass unit connecting to the membrane to, um, to uh, uh, accomplish an air and water, uh, air and water uh, uh, seal in the back. And uh, this is one particular detail. There's many ways that this could be detailed to accomplish the same thing. Next slide, please. Uh, oh, yeah, so there's how the head would look and you flash it off, you put membranes in, you shingle all the membranes and uh, structurally, this is uh, totally sound. We eliminate uh, uh, there's only one connection of the glass unit to the wall versus the glass unit to a frame, then the frame to the wall. So it's, uh, it's actually a better detail when performed properly in a factory situation. So we're going to call this product uh, the Thermoview Transparent Wall. And with this particular glass unit that can achieve nearly R14 for a window, a four foot by five foot window, uh, R17 center glass, Essentially, if you had a, a, a trans, a, pardon me, a Thermaview transparent wall that was say 25% glass, the overall insulating value of that wall, including the vision area and non-vision area would be approximately R37. And uh, that changes everything in terms of uh, how you heat and cool the space. You're gonna have a very comfortable space with very uniform temperatures in the inside of the wall, including the glass. You're gonna completely eliminate condensation problems. So you can increase comfort and health by increasing humidity in your home without having water dripping off of your assemblies. Um, the heating and cooling loads will be vastly lower. You're gonna shave off all your peak demand loads on electricity if you have that problem. And there's no moving parts. There's nothing to wear out. This glass unit is going to last more than 60 years. We actually think probably closer to 100 years. And uh, so it is a, a powerful solution to our greenhouse gas uh, emission problem. And uh, with that, I'll turn it over to Yasushi to talk about his um, projects. All right. And Tanya, if you could switch it back to the camera, we're going to move the camera close to the uh, mock-up that we have here. So as a builder, what I'm excited about is these are two products that are already commercially available. Uh, Greg's uh, light zone glass here and Ken's mag wall. And what we're doing is we're integrating the glazing unit into the wall at the factory. So as a builder, what I'm buying is the product of a pre-mounted transparent wall system. So this goes in place where Ken was describing where one of the panel wall sections would be one integrated with the with the Thermaview window here. And, and Greg, I'll, here, I'll grab the camera here. I'm super excited because of all the uh, benefits of having a monolithic wall uh, from ease of construction to factory built precision, and then having the wall with the transparent window already embedded into it uh, just reduces construction on site. It has the ability to allow my projects to be long lasting, energy efficient, and uh, certainly uh, sustainable in terms of the goals Green Violin has. So I think that's, uh, that's where we have it. And this is from the Thermaview team here. Thank you, any questions?
Awesome. Thanks, team. Yeah. Any questions for our team here? Great. If, is, if, is, go is ahead. Your, is your target market um, a single story or dual story detached housing? Or Actually, are you mm -hmm. are you also looking at like MERBs, multi-unit residential buildings, two, yeah, three, four, five story and up? For sure. What I'm doing is I'm demonstrating the product in the first three of my smaller houses. Uh, in a tiny house, in a garden suite, as well as a skinny townhome in preparation for a 26 unit apartment that's going to be using this wall system. And that is going to parlay into a high rise that we have designed uh, five years in the future. So with regards to high rises, they typically use window wall and curtain wall systems and sometimes they have storefront. Uh, in the future, are you envisioning high rises without window wall and curtain wall? No, uh, what I'm pursuing is modular construction of our high rise and that modularity, the offsite built units are going to integrate with uh, the mag wall uh, and the light zone glazing unit. So essentially using the Thermaview wall system for the panelization of the modular units to be stacked into the high rise. Got it. Okay, I've got it. I, I could have, I could probably have a hundred questions, but I'll let other people join because I'm a window geek and we could catch up <laughs> another time. Oh, you betcha. Let, let's, let's talk after the, uh, the session or during the breakout session. Awesome. Okay. Is there any other window geeks or others in the room as well that want to answer a question? Uh, otherwise, uh, I'll just give you a second. Uh, it's, this is the time for networking. So we're going to break right now into